Potlatch Law was repealed in, I think it was 1953, but it took another 20 years for our people to sort of get used to the idea that we could have open ceremonies again. So as a result of, you know, that, them finally getting used to it, all of those years that we didn't have memorials for ones that had passed on, families are having them now. Chief Richard Malloway covered me with a name. My traditional name or ancestral name is Tukholatse, and that belongs to my mother's side of the family, um, the Joe side of the family. Because it was a, a high status name, was the first really big naming ceremony that they had had anywhere in, in uh, our, our tribal area. Community people who, once they heard that there, this ceremony was going on, they came and they con made contributions. Like, um, I can bake pies, you know, and, they, and, they just, and everybody just, and the food just poured in. I have been invited here to be the voice of the family. A traditional speaker would officially welcome everybody on behalf of uh, Richie and um, uh, our families. Would welcome them to our home, to our community. Witnesses then were, co were called. He and his family shook hands, with the, what they call shaking hands, with all of the witnesses that, that were in, the, that he called. And they would have been the high status people from the other major families from all over the tribal area. And of course, by shaking hands, traditional that, uh, or, uh, that you have a small gift that you give each of the witnesses. And today, because our culture has evolved, uh, money has become a part of our culture, so they usually give 50 cents. And then they put blankets on the floor, brand new blankets on the floor, brought me in, for, and they put a blanket over my shoulder and covered, covered me that way. And, scarf on my head and uh, marked me, what they call tamat, or red paint ochre. The speaker talked about our Richie Malloway um, passing on a family name to me, and then the re and of course explaining the reasons why. And then he would go, then they went on to explain the name where the, where the name came where the name came from, because we didn't have a written language, you couldn't write them down. So the witnesses were to. Where it's like they were the ones who would, were were paid to remember the name and paid to remember who who was carrying the name, and their responsibility, of course, was like like a newspaper or uh, they'd bring the news back home and say, "Oh, that Herb Joe, he just got this big name, you know, and this is the name he's going to carry from now on." And at the end of that, then we had a little giveaway where we went out and passed out gifts. Only the Siams got officially recognized. So only the CMs officially got gifts. Everybody else wouldn't go home feeling badly about it. That's why they give away at the end. They would give away um, fruit and other small gifts. And they, we still do that today. The, the protocols are pretty much all the same. For all the ceremonies, you just sort of plug in the different kinds of, of activities that you're, talk, you're thinking about, like a memorial for um, an ancestor, uh, a naming ceremony, a wedding ceremony, a shui shui mask, shemulksis, um, honoring song, all of the other kinds of different ceremonies that we have to accomplish the same things. Um, a lot of it depended on your status, your individual family status. Mm -hmm.